everyone welcome to my channel dental edge i am dr bhanachak i am an mds in oral pathology and today i'll be taking a lecture on dental anatomy introduction so if you are a dental student who is starting with dental anatomy this video will be really helpful for you so let's get started so let's first understand what is dental anatomy so dental anatomy is the study of morphology of various teeth in human dentition and knowledge of how the shape form structure color and function of teeth relate to each other in the same arch and to the teeth in the opposing arch so what is dental anatomy in simple words it is the study of the shape and form of various teeth in the human dentition and what is the relationship of these different teeth to each other in the same arch and their relationship to the teeth in the opposing arch okay so you should know that the upper arch this the upper jaw or the upper arch is called as maxilla and the lower arch or the lower jaw is called as the mandible okay then humans have two sets of teeth these are primary or deciduous teeth and succedaneous or permanent teeth let's understand what are primary teeth so primary teeth or deciduous teeth or which are also called as milk teeth these are the first set of teeth to be seen in the mouth so the first teeth that will appear in the oral cavity are called as the deciduous or milk teeth or the primary teeth when are these teeth formed they begin to form prenatally in utero at approximately 14 weeks or 3 months that is when the child is still not born and it is in the womb of the mother at about 14 weeks there is formation of the deciduous teeth starts and this deciduous teeth formation is completed postnatally that is after the birth of the child at about the age of 3 years okay so this these are the teeth of the upper arch and these are the teeth of the lower arch these are the deciduous teeth or the milk teeth okay and when do they erupt in the oral cavity they erupt between 6 months to 3 years so when a child is 6 months of age at that time the first deciduous teeth will appear in the oral cavity and up to 3 years all the teeth that is all the deciduous teeth will appear in the oral cavity okay so just a basic thing as i told you this is the upper jaw that is the maxilla and the lower is the mandible the deciduous teeth they are five on each side so the upper arch in total will have 10 teeth again five on each side in the lower arch so 10 in lower so in total there are 20 deciduous teeth what are they there are two incisors we'll read about the teeth in detail later on it is just a basic introduction there are two incisors the one towards the center is called as the central incisor and the one lateral to it is called the lateral incisor then there is a canine this tooth then there are two molars first molar and second molar okay so there are central incisor lateral incisor canine first molar second molar on one side again on other side the same teeth will be there so these are 10 in total then slightly different from the maxillary as we go in the mandibular arch there will be central incisor lateral incisor canine first molar and second molar five on each side so total 20 in number remember the maxillary teeth will be different from the mandibular teeth we will read about this later on so this is the deciduous dentition coming to the next set of teeth that is the permanent teeth the permanent teeth they are the second set of teeth to be seen in the mouth when do the permanent teeth erupt they start erupting at approximately 6 years with emergence of first permanent molar now first let's understand like we saw in primary teeth which teeth are seen in the 
permanent dentition. So there is, they are little different. There is central incisor, lateral incisor. These are the two incisors. Then there is a canine. Then there are two premolars which were not present in the deciduous dentition. So there is first premolar, there is second premolar and then there are three molars. First molar, second molar and third molar. So in total on each side there are eight permanent teeth. Right? So on the upper arch there will be 16 and in the lower arch also there will be central incisor, lateral incisor, canine, first premolar, second premolar, first molar, second molar, third molar. So there will be 16. So in total there will be 32 permanent teeth. Uh, when do permanent teeth start erupting? They start eruption. The first teeth that erupt is at the age of 6 years and that is the permanent molar. One more thing that you have to remember is that there is a period which is called as transition or mixed period. Let's understand what is transition or mixed period. Transition or mixed period is a period when the child will have mixture of deciduous and permanent or succedaneous teeth. What does that mean? What will happen is for example from 3 months to 3 years all the primary teeth have erupted into the oral cavity. Now these primary teeth till 6 years there will be not, no change will take place and this will be the primary dentition will be there till 6 years of age. What will happen at 6 years of age? The first permanent tooth will erupt into the oral cavity. Now when first permanent tooth erupts into the oral cavity, there is a mixture of deciduous and permanent teeth in the oral cavity. This period is called as the transition. It is going from primary to permanent. This period is the transition or the mixed period. Right? So what happens is at 6 years of age, first molar will erupt into the oral cavity right and after that all these deciduous teeth with different chronology different age they will fall and they will be replaced by the permanent teeth okay so this period is called when both the teeth are present primary and permanent teeth in the oral cavity it is called as transition or mixed period what is the uh, age range for transition of mixed period it lasts from 6 to 12 years of age that is from emergence of first permanent tooth that is when first molar will erupt then at that time up to shedding of the last deciduous teeth till the time the last deciduous teeth will shed and it will be replaced by a permanent tooth this is called as the transition or the mixed period once all the primary teeth have shed and only permanent teeth are present in the oral cavity, this period is called as the permanent dentition period. When does this begins? It begins when all the primary teeth have shed off. Now, usually this is at 12 years or older. Okay. So, let's just revise. There are two sets of teeth, primary, permanent. Primary are 20 in number permanent are 32 in number. What were primary teeth? Central incisor, lateral incisor, canine, first molar, second molar. At what age they will erupt? 6 months after the birth of the child to 3 years. All deciduous teeth will come. Now what will happen? Till 6 years only deciduous teeth are present. This will be called as primary dentition period or deciduous dentition period. Fine. What will happen then? At 6 years of age, the first permanent tooth, that is first molar, first permanent molar will erupt into the oral cavity. As the first permanent molar, this molar erupts into the oral cavity, there will be a mixture of the primary and permanent teeth, right? From this period, from 6 years up to 12 years, up to 12 years, all these will shed and will be replaced by permanent teeth. This period is called as the transition period. Okay. And once all of them have shed off and only permanent teeth, all the permanent teeth have erupted, only permanent teeth are present in the oral cavity, then this period will be called as the permanent dentition period. Okay. So I hope 
this video was helpful if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and do press the bell icon so you get all the notifications about new videos thank you